Hello, my name's Jason, and this is going to be the first of several that I intend of a video clips that I'll be covering concerning email, just general email topics, and Outlook. And this, this particular video clip is a short one that I'll be talking a little bit about um, outgoing email and using your Outlook when you're out on a trip, for example, out of state or, you know, um, on a business trip or something. And there's an issue that I get calls about fairly often and that is when for example you've got your laptop and you're out at a hotel or at a friend's house and you're using Outlook and uh, you hook up to your to that location the, the internet access there and you find that you can receive email but for some reason you can't send out any e email and what's going on all, all that's really going on is that you've got to make sure that your outgoing email server settings are set according to the outgoing email server of the location that you're actually checking your email at. And to somewhat translate that, I'll, I'll show you actually on my laptop how that works. So all you've got to do when you are at the location, you've got to find out, for example, if you're at the hotel, what service provider they're using. Whether it's Quest or Cox or whatever ISP they're using, you're going to have to go to your Outlook and change your outgoing email settings according to what service providers are being used. Like for example, uh, I've got Outlook 2003. We just go out to the Tools menu, Email Accounts, and we want a Viewer Change, so we just hit Next. And from here, what you got to do, I'm just going to hit one of my email accounts here. What you have to do, here's the line that says Outgoing Mail Server SMTP. And I have it currently set for Cox because at my home, I I use Cox for my internet service, so it's smtp.west.cox.net. Now, if you say you have your laptop at a friend's house who have high speed, who has high speed, and you're trying to send emails using Outlook, you have to change this. Say if your friend is using Quest, it's got to be, uh, if I remember right, quest.phx. Uh, something whatever. Uh, .net. You've got to match it. So, and for and if you're at say a hotel, you've got to ask their customer service or their IT department, hey, what's, what am I gonna supposed to configure my outgoing settings for? And once you have that set up, then you should be able to check your email just fine. Now, one other thing you want to note, though, is that some email service providers, especially the hotels or, or if you're on a hotspot somewhere at a bookstore, and if you want to send out emails using Outlook, you may have to, if it's not Quest or Cox, you may have to actually go in to the more settings and specify things like the outgoing server and, and checking off the authentication um, that, that the outgoing email uses authentication. So just keep that in mind where um, you might have to jump into some of the more advanced settings if you're wishing to do that, uh, be able to send email when you're out at the other location. Now, as an alternative, what I've been re recommending to a few of my clients who have this ab ability is that one way to simplify things is when you're at a road trip or if you're at a friend's house and you, you want to send email, that if possible, you use the webmail method. Like, for example, many people, they, they use Outlook or Outlook Express to do their email, but they have a Cox email account. Uh, they're... Through, they use a Cox email account. And what, what Cox does, like many ISPs, is that uh, instead of using Outlook, you could also just go on the internet and just go to Cox's website and just log in and, and check your email that way. So for example, um, we, I've got my website up and for example, my, my email address or, or my ISP ha has webmail access and to access the login for my webmail online I just simply type in uh, webmail on the end of the internet address and then so that loads up and then all I do is I just punch in my email address and then my password and it's the same email address and password that would have been configured within the Outlook settings like how I've got it set like this okay, so, uh, so that's what how I would what would be a, a good workaround if you don't want to mess with this whole Outlook reconfiguring the outgoing email server settings you can just write off of the webmail login page on the internet and then be able to send email because that does not require any type of modification of server settings at all since you're actually technically doing your email right off of your ISP server and um, that's uh, 
pretty much it for this tip. So just keep in mind if you're on a road trip and you're bringing your laptop and you're using Outlook for your email or pretty much any type of uh, email management software that's installed on your computer like for example uh, Outlook Express. Um, there's also um, what is that fancy email program called? Uh, the Incredimail. Uh, you have to make sure you go into the account settings within that program and change the outgoing email settings to uh, what's appropriate for the service provider of where you're at. So just keep that in mind and hope you guys found this tip to be useful. And until the next one, all right.